Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Testing one, two, three, guys. Uh, yo, what's up? Welcome to Venk about uh, Faith action. My name is David. This is Faith uh, Indie Horror Game. Let's launch it. Did some testing real quick to make sure it would work. It's getting pretty spooky from right here. My friend uh, Kaiju likes it. Our Venk about Video Game Club played it via my friend Brandon uh, Three Venge. He coordinated, excuse me, he coordinated a group playthrough of the game, really. They all played the game and talked about it. It's pretty fun to see their, their thoughts on the game. I haven't played it yet myself. It's apparently pretty spooky, pretty scary. September 21st, 1987. When I was born. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. So back a year later. I think it probably, actually, it's probably, uh... Okay, so he must be like a priest. Okay, what we got here? Instructions, extras. What's in the instructions here? To move, use WASD slash arrow keys or left analog stick on the pad, huh? Okay, I have a pad plugged in. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Can I get this fruit? Pad works. Easy game. Do I fucking love this mini game? Oh my god. Face demons and cast them out with the space gear or the A button. That's like X on this controller. Resist a devil and he will flee from you. Huh? I can't I can walk while I do it though. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be cast out. Pretty simple. Extras, what do we got here? Replay the intro. Nice. Okay. Let's begin. New game. Saving icon. Almost died right off the bat. Said Air Dorf is the name of the developer. I think somebody in the yeah it was Kyosuke, right? He said that he didn't like this game because of the music. He said that he couldn't stand the fact that they used this uh, you know, public domain classical music. He said it's like Pepe hates his song. Like he always hates the song. It's part of his personality. He can't stand whenever any game uses it or anything uses his song. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it, Architect. Uh, it's me, Brian. Yeah, Kaiju out likewise. And Moonlight Sonata, apparently it's like a pet peeve of Kioske when, when media uses this song on things. Made a big loopy loop. Hey, okay, look at my car. I can't really like, interact. It wasn't a button for that, at least I learned. It seems as though all you can do is walk and cast out demons. I interact with these logs? Slot. Bye, Batch. Be gone. Yeah, fuck. So there's demons out here. It's not a good look. What he says? Lord bless this mess. That's what he says when he uses this thing. There's a tree of the. Oh shit. We got here. Today I noticed Amy's favorite free favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and its bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten uh, ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious uh, religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Huh? Okay. So I was able to purify the tree, huh? Okay, this game is called Faith. It's an indie horror game. It's sort of an Atari esque aesthetic. Be gone, dear. I don't know what he's trying to tell me here. Spider Demon's there. Come here, be my friend. This is Uncharted 5. Still alive. 
was talking all kinds of shit. More like MS DOS. Well, DOS has much better graphics. It's been a pretty good game to DOS. I mean, DOS had fucking, you know, Commander Keen. Warcraft. Old school horror game, Matt Okay, it's more old school styled. We got here. Chaos Is that true? I'm like a dysentery this architect, yeah. Like we're playing some... Uh... Did it just say fuck? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like it said fuck! Then it said father and ran away. It's fucking a cross is godlet. Cross is attack. Leave me alone, dude. I'm busy. Sploosh, sploosh. Oh, here we go. Sploosh it up. Purify this place. Bless this mess. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Good idea. If I have bad feeling I'm going to walk through the edge of the screen, he's going to spawn in and kill me. Right at the very edge of the screen. A little bit loud, huh, guys? Music. Oof. We're walking through some woods. We got wells. Bless this mess. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the whale. Past the whale, that's where we're at. Get your licenses, D. Scott. The tests are easy, but that Bofang or the Wusan's radios do broadcast on ham and police channels. It's not illegal to listen, just, so just be careful, huh? got that bank error in your favor. What a burger give me two patty melts. Holy fuck. Charge it for one this godly. Yeah, these guys an expert, kid. He knows all about radio stuff. That's like his whole thing. That's what these guys stands for, right? The, the KC2CA is his uh, ham radio handle, which is fucking dope. I haven't seen that spider fucker in a while. We got here. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just uh, jut out in the middle of the gravel path that's mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. This was a year later, right? He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that uh, Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the rite that may seem harsh to the layperson. Gotta beat that ass. Keys. Uh oh. Spider fuckers. <laughs> Go away, bro. Okay, I got a key. I mean, be my friend. Don't become an evil deer later on trying to kill me. Be my friend, Mr. Deer. I wouldn't call it pixel art so much, dicks. I mean, it literally is, obviously. But it really is, like, I mean, it's gonna really more of a throwback all the way to the Atari days. It's kind of a rare to see a game with this style. Be my friend, Mr. Deer. Why can't we be friends? Thank you, dicks. So, like, my power went out at 8pm tonight, so I took a nap and it went back on. Saw you were playing Faith, couldn't resist. Welcome board, Kelsey. Welcome back. Glad you got your uh, power working again. Mm 
No. Why can't we be friends? I think just cussing. I think that son of a bitch. Me. That fucking thing's gonna try and jump scare me later. That stupid uh, deer. Tell us all this. Be purified. Ooh. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. I can't wait till you come home. You didn't yang it, I guess. Uh, thank you, Kiyosuke. Yeah, I appreciate that. The hot tip. Keep it moving. Got all these fucking bee hot, all these fucking uh, honeycombs, dude. Delicious honeycombs. <sighs> we got here graves. We got fucking graves. Back off, bruh. You don't know me like that. Mr. Martin, it's taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot just identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbing to some of the, my peers at the University of Connecticut. I'll reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, uh, Daryl Henderson from the State of Connecticut Historical Society. Okay. So you can't listen while you're driving, says D-Scott. Okay, weird. Okay. Like a little walk animation. A fucking crip walk. Hey, Mr. Deer. Come back. Let's be friends, dude. Asshole. Couldn't save the deer. Rest in peace, dude. Oh dear, says Dix. That's alright, kid. You listen to the police if you want to. But not the police. Where's Revenge? I'm gonna need him. He helped me out with some confusing shit. Yeah, Revenge is a young guy, and I'm sure he's probably still lurking somewhere. Oh, Again, yeah, I'm not trying to get any spoilers here, as, as always. More trees. He's got big bites taken out of him. I was like, fuck. I think he said, I go immediately, perhaps. Relax, Mr. Deer. What? Is that always there? That, that, uh, that note? Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Hmm, so something went wrong with the exorcism, looks like. Relax, bro. Want some of that tail? Oh, come back. Yeah, kind of like an evil keyboard art I can. Okay. That song's kind of... a little repetitive. Beep, bop, 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 beep, beep, boop. Can't stream on Twitch and expect us to not backseat games with dicks. Come on, dude. Don't backseat game dicks. Come on, man. 
Not hard for you. That's I know I was playing fucking I was playing Tokitori Dick, so you kept interrupting me, dude. I was like, Dicks, let me fucking play Tokitori. And you were like, dude. You ain't doing it right now, come on. Let me play. Katie says, don't want to be a downer, but it seems like the voice acting scheme is kinda ass, huh? I think it's alright for the time, Katie. It's gonna come out what, like back in the year 1960? But anarchy reigns, guys. PS3, Xbox 360. Because it's not even a game. I'm talking to you, it's not a game. It's a lifestyle. It's a choice, he says. It's a choice ass game. I don't think it does, Vince, unfortunately. But I mean, if you want to get into the character, Vince, you could try to pretend that it's trying to save memory. You know what I mean? Weren't you the first hater of this Mila Sonata Kioske? I remember your review of the game was pretty harsh. I seem to recall that you pretty much gave it like a 3 out of 5, and the one reason you took away points was because of this fucking song. Chaos reigns, Katie. Anarchy reigns. Mila Sonata bangs. I just listened to the first part on loop. Yeah, that's what Katie said. This is just the first movement. You gotta try and pretend, guys, they're trying to save memory, right? Like it's looking like a really old ass computer game. This is a zero five. I kick. I can't jump while I'm walking. I can do this though, Dix. That's better. No sprinting, no jump. I can do this. I can reverse sprint with a cross. I can cross sprint. This is that real cross training? Public Lecture, what was a lecture? By Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesday at 8. When? What What Wednesday? I'm climbing while shooting, says Brian, huh? Yeah, I'm walking and I'm crossing. But I'm never crossing while walking. He's a lecture, but in public, huh? I think Letcher is spelled differently. But what is a Letcher, though? I feel like Templar would know he's a big nerd. Is this one of those gaming equivalents of Warhol's Campbell Soup? I don't think so. I think it really is trying to sincerely go for, like, you know... I think it's supposed to really be really scary. It might still get really scary. This says, Jump down the well shrine. It's gonna let your demon out, huh? Well, oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I misread it, Dix? I said lecture. There's a follow, uh. I to had? I to had? Maybe it was a typo of Dix. I don't know. Is it not really a word? Maybe your diction's failing you, Dix. That would be really outlandish because you're so fucking smart. Power of Christ compels you, dear. And grab that ass. Relax. Give me a hug. Fuck. I guess you watch Bowser wants a hug on YouTube. It's a pretty good video. Who doggy. Shouldn't you know that deers don't like blue men? Why not? Blue men like deers. A girl asked me if she could kiss me, and I decided to let let her. I gotcha. B system? Does this have a bloody roar character? That'd be sick. No, so it's just a word. It's not a word. Negative. Probably it's a typo. You're right. Typo. That's not a word. It's probably just a typo. 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 Haven't seen that fucker in a while. Fuck you, asshole. I did this one, didn't I? It seems like the, the areas are kind of repeating now. Is that supposed to be by design to make it more... like, surreal? Yeah, like we're kind of going back. Oh, it's randomized. Okay. 
Kill me, dude. Doesn't seem totally randomized. It seems like if I keep going left and right, it's consistent. I mean, I think it seems like if it randomized, it must be only up and down. Bye, Mr. Deer. So are you having fun? No. I'm not. Nor am I officially scared. But I think that I'm missing the point here. If I go so far up this kaiju, okay. I feel like when I'm going to comb my hair like this, I'm going to get killed by this monster. My hand's going off the controller. Up and down over certain left and right areas, huh? Yes, yeah, so according to kaiju, the map's only so big. Because the, the map loops left and right, and only goes up and down so far. Why the fuck would this need to be randomized if you're looking for the- Well, I don't know, Chaos Games? Isn't that how it works in like those Slenderman games? Only true intellectuals can appreciate the games as big. You can tell from the classical music. I'm a Kiyosuke sort of, like, you know, soft-spoiled. It sounds like there's more enemy types as we go on. So I'm... I assume this is just the first part of a game that's a little bit more involved as it goes. So I've only seen one enemy type so far. Just a fucker. Spider fucker. Do you... The deer is crucial of all this. What's your part in this deer? Where are you going? Fuck you, man. Why can't we be friends? Where are my deer out here? This is fucking is crawling with them. Do. I have my doubts, this game is that great for a stream. Oh, we got stuff to say. I said, just go up, bro. When does this game start, this Vince? Well, I mean, we've been playing it kind of. You know, we're rocking around getting lore. Scaring off the spider demon with our cross. Surprised how the white thing isn't appearing like crazy, huh? Well, it seems like it's randomized. If you can't think of a reason, clearly you must be dumb since Dixon. Huh? Seriously, though, I'd rather watch Toki Tori again. That game is fucking godlike, Dix. You shut the fuck about that game. Seriously, you're starting to piss me off. How can you sit in my chat and hate on Toki Tori? <laughs> Here we go. Now the game's starting, Vince. You happy now? Different music now? Oh my God. This game is free, kitty. How's this game fucking capitalist America? The games came out just for people that, you know, just to, for, the, for the culture, dude. For the culture. Okay, so there's Amy, whatever her name was. She's evil. Confirmed. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in the restraints. In restraints, excuse me. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. That's kind of insulting to children. Where's my music, man? Oh my god, guys. Something behind me. Be gone, demon. Be gone. Be gone. That's a sizeless fucking bed, dog. I think it was Yoga Brains was Katie, huh? No, it was Brandon that recommended it, I think. Maybe I killed all spider things as Brandon? Hmm, I could be. I don't think so, though. Maybe. I did not in the sense of how good it is, but the overall experience is Kyosuke, huh? I think it was Three Binge that recommended it. Uh, I think it was... I first saw this game played on Kaiju's channel. I stopped by his stream and he was playing this game. He was just kind of starting it. I think it was on New Game Plus, though, at that point already. The 
power of Christ compel? I love this fucking cross It's so satisfying somehow. I just love being able to walk around and be like, Be gone! Be gone, devil box. Be gone, devil couch. You got spooky paintings? Come on. Okay. Be gone. Okay, this is drawn by Nate, huh? We got a bunch of spooky guys. Just blame Three Bench, huh? But the whole thing got all the endings as Kyosuke, huh? Can we just sit on the couch and watch TV in this game? I don't know. Can't believe that Three Venge shut down Bib Story 2. God damn it, Three Venge. Why? Okay, this thing's also gold, Clay. I have a key I realized from the, from the shed. It's Uncharted 5, yeah, I just realized that, Ryan, yeah. Walk around interacting at home. There's a stairway, a staircase going down to the basement. Back of the stairs, I can also go upstairs, looks like, huh? Is there any monsters in here? Wait, did it jump scare me? Can't get jump scared, guys. You can't walk doing this everywhere you go. That's the tech. That's David think about the jump scare tech. Picture drawn by Nate. Oh my god. This is before or after his resurrection. Be gone. Is she blue to look like me? Is that what they're trying to imply there? That we're related in some way? So she was downstairs. In the, no, she was in the attic, right? Never mind. Take it back. Let's go to the basement then. You'll be sorry. Says, if we're going down there, D-Sky, I'm sorry. We got to do it. She's purple. I'm blue. Okay, thank you. I'm in the basement, guys. Rest in peace. It's mad dark. There's a fucking rocking horse. Bruh. We got mannequins, too. Fucking Atari art mannequins. It's all blocked over there. Some blood over there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wash machines? Um, uh, sheets? We got sheets? Oh, Spooky-ass sheets? Dear Amy, thank you for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San Le Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San Le Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and uh, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San Le Muerte, and the figure made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to just wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Layton. So apparently Amy's in contact with some kind of missionary, huh? That's how she got possessed. So I'm saying, these guys got mannequins and rocking horses, dude. We gotta be careful. I have a blue house with a blue window. Blue is the color of what I wear. Blue are the streets and all the trees are too. I have a girlfriend and she is so blue. That's poetry, KD. Wow. You should put that in a song and sell it. She is so blue. I can see the house sticks, all right? Because it's, cause it's red. Evil wash machine. The KD blew it. Oh, God, we got sheets on the mannequins? But why? Oh, man. Be gone! Nothing now. I missed a Moonlight Sonata. Hmm, here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh-oh. Allred got bodied? So Brent says he's theorizing that they are... The mannequins are there to dry the sheets, huh? Did he say, Bwerti? I wish he's got. 
Just got a kill success out of the moon. It's not a soul soothes the soul huh? when it's not on repeat. Here we go. Now we're talking. So I'm in the bed now. No! Amy, no! She is here. Okay, so I'm somewhere new now. Okay. This is not the same house. I'm maybe in the attic now, huh? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Here we go, guys. Crucifix, guys. Come at me, bitch. Spooky ass bitch. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. Oh my god, weird looking dolls? Architect, that's not a good idea, dude. That's how you get fucking ring girls, bro. Do you want ring girls? That's how you get ring girls. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there, boss well, racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh, so she, she was working on... Uh, so Amy's uh, older than I thought. So uh, she was working on... Uh, she was like an abortion clinic, basically. Or uh, what do they call that? Planned Parenthood. Katie. What if I said... Amy. What if I said... Amy! I found that weird the demon was speaking perfect Latin because I could have swore the priests. I wasn't even looking at the screen, guys. That was lucky. I had to do like a little mini game there when she comes at you. I got realized guess I got one out of four chance there. I got the right guess on which side she's gonna be on. You have to watch carefully and react quickly, I guess. So you gotta point the cross toward her when she comes at you and see the bloody footsteps. Then you have to pick a side and you have to watch very carefully which side she's on. Okay, here she comes. I can see you. I can see you. Foolish. Call me foolish something. That's a Simon! Yeah, they also had one of those, uh, one of those, uh, toy vacuum cleaners that are fucking godlike. I have a key. Is that a key for this closet, maybe? I want to clean out my closet. Got an upstairs bathroom here. Get out! Get out! It's like, get the fuck out of here, you asshole. When you're near her, it changes the music a little bit. The background sounds. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky here. Come on. Oh, the rubber ducky up there. Come on, it's not a fucking thing. It's like glowing. There we go. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods or to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Just in peace. We got a few spooks here, but not really. The bubble vach with Javon. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's free. It's a free little horror game. Seems cool for what it is. Babo! Hey, Babo! Hey, Babo! Oh, she tried to fucking grab me right there. Mm hmm. Bye, bitch! So, let's go. So, I'll fuck you up, dog. Um. So, now what? Back to the basement. Back to the lab again. So, yeah, the music changed when she's near you. Daddy, she said. I feel like shit, she said. 
She's coming. You can see her little bloody footsteps or whatever. They're kind of like runes. Come get me, bitch. Hey, slot. Okay. Is that a good thing? Don't get jump scared, guys. The music's gone. You can have nightmares, these guys. I don't have nightmares, bro. It's okay. It's just a video game, dude. Which door are we talking about? This door? We have a spider fucker here now, right? Now that the door is opened up. Just choose not to. Guess what I'm saying, Katie? You don't have bad dreams, bro. So this is the only door, right? Or is there a door up upstairs? Like the closet door, maybe? Up here? There it is. Oh, the attic. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, slot. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, she, my superior father with, blanks so was censored here. When I confronted her, she, something, managed to cut the power of the house and her own parents, something, with their own something. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares uh, I'm having are real. She's still there. Excuse me. The nightmares are fucking real, bro. The nightmares are real. Waiting for me. She's still waiting for me. I, got I can still help her. And if I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. So my John then? Oh, no. Not upside down. Please, no. Hey, Amy. Hi, Batch. My God. What happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? It's gonna get really big, guys. Watch I out. have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Get out of her, bro. Get out of her. She's a good girl. I told you this is gonna get big. Coming, bro. Boss fight time. Bullshit. Mortis. I crossed you, bitch. Get to the fucking cross counter. Rest in peace. Okay. Here we go. Take two, guys. Okay. Here she comes from that side. On that side. Because that's not the truth. I have to dodge her, I guess. Mortis. I have to dodge her, probably. Alright. Try it again. Core gameplay. Here we go. Look at that sheet on her head, looks like. She's got a bad case of no face from the look of it. Oops. So she teleported on the same side Mortis. she was on originally. Mortis. Mm hmm. Okay, there she goes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Where are you coming from now? Okay. Got a very small hurt box at least. This is gonna end eventually. Or do I have to do something else? I should try to leave, huh? I'm dead. Fuck, got lucky. So I can't leave, looks like. Jump out the window. Oof. I 
very small hit. Oh, can I hit her now? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. I see. Get some damage. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. She has a health bar. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Be gone, bitch! Oh, fuck! Actually hit her before I dodge. Just... Okay, dodge the attack. Get the punish. Get the whiff punish. Uh-oh. He's drawn the... Oh, shit, what the fuck? We got core gameplay now? So when she's drawing the circle, I can punish her, looks like. Sounds like it anyway, kinda of hard to tell. Okay. Don't really get it. Oh man. Mortis. <sighs> Mortis. Okay, here we go. Second phase. Okay, dodge some attacks here. Here when she's doing this. Get out of the way. I'm like I want to be there when that's popping off. I like the sweet cross gameplay. So he's kind of low on health now, maybe. One, two, three. Two, three. Get over here. Hit her hard. A bit too close there. Oh, I'm still doing damage to her. Okay, even when she's moving. Be gone, bitch! <laughs> Rest in peace. It kind of is, Brian, you know. In terms of, you know, thematically, it's very similar. Kind of funny how there's, like, two, you know, big indie games right now with similar themes. House change color looks like, huh? Is it less evil now? Easy game. Beep, be dee 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 dee. This is the ceremony for opening the blank, let no brother or sister utter it. Prepare the blank, use the right index finger to draw the signs of the blank on the floor. Bring an impure vessel to the signs of the blank. Is she impure or because she was maybe uh, working with, uh, you know, the abortion clinic, maybe? Maybe I didn't do the right thing, Kioski. Uh, this game has like five endings, right? Let a brother or sister drink blank at each sign of the blank. Carve the face of the blank. The blood that fills the opening is the new blank. Let seven blank be taken from their mothers and lowered into the blank. Upon the offering or the seventh blank of the seventh blank, the blank will emerge from the blank. This is the second death. Sick. Now I'm baby mode, yeah. They gotta fucking etch a sketch. That's fucking sick. So that was a twins room there, okay. I wonder whose room this was. Let's go look in the mirror, see if I've still got a haunted ghost in the mirror. Look in the toilet. I actually run to the toilet paper. There was a third phase where the dash four times. Sometimes it's not even do the circle shits, huh? Yeah, it could be that you know, I didn't get the good ending or whatever because I didn't get all the letters or something. So I didn't get the real final boss fight. Kill her. Oh, we got a shotgun? Let's fucking go. With one bullet. How do I shoot it? Probably with the with I have to shoot it with the, with the X button, right? You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. So I gotta react fast, probably. Got a big cigarette, bro. She's not in my reflection anymore. Kill the deer instead. Probably the first secret ending, Brian. For sure it is. 
Kind of funny you would mention that. It's actually a pretty good idea. Let's do it the normal way. Probably going to miss and then get a bad ending, is my guess. If I were to do it real quick, you would think I only got one bullet, right? It's probably going to jump at me after shoot. Amy, you down here? Can I shoot you now? Or maybe she's out in the woods. Huh? That makes sense. That'd be a pretty creepy finale. I missed my fucking cross, bro. Okay. So we gotta go outside and go find her, shoot her, and do our thing. Brian's actually gonna go kill a deer instead, huh? I guess it's just our blast. I only have one shot, Katie. I hate to start blasting. I gotta be careful with this fucking bullet. I missed my cross. I unlimited ammo. Okay. Where you at, girl? Where did you go? Where did you go now? This is new. I don't have my cross anymore. I can't fucking get the fucking. So I should have. Yeah, Kaiju said I should have gone right, to, right ahead to the fucking place. That's what I did. But mistakes were made in that respect. If I want to get all the goodies. Looks like a lot of this is new areas. Where you at, Batch? Is it Katie? Oh, you're right. Core forest walking gameplay. We're gonna go all the way up again. I got my gun, bitch. There she is. Hey, bitch. Bye. Got my cross back. Nice. Bye. Easy fucking game, guys. Okay. Katie, she had to come in, bro. She was acting up. Any game where you get to shoot an Amy and a cool buzz okay by me. Yeah, I just realized, Katie, that she was probably purified by that point, and the demon convinced me to kill her, right? Now I'm the possessed one. Because the voice told me to kill her, and she was just chilling there. Could have probably just approached her and talked to her with an RPG text box. That's how you get the good ending. But I pulled the trigger right away because I got tricked by the fucking demon, dude. Typical Venkabot. Play games to escape reality, bro. Well, that was fun. Let's get the fuck out of here before the fucking Popo shows up. Who's at the ham radio? Let me know when they're coming from. I think if I go down all the way, I'll probably find my car. You're right, Katie. They are convincing. They're very convincing. Bye! Let me happen the whip. That's what I'm talking about. Easy fucking game. Job well done, boys. Oh no! What'd I tell you guys? It's a murder ending, huh? Game ending one of five. Well, guys, that was Faith. I didn't know it was me, Brian. I don't understand. Please arrest a man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. What am I poaching out here? Deer? The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a dream, a demon inside her. 
Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he's impersonating a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward is not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing, huh? Rest in peace. Oh, it puts him right here again? Oh, okay. Makes it a little easier to get the other endings, I guess. It says book him. So I don't probably really need the shotgun, necessarily. I'll grab it anyway. Well, no, let's just bring this and try this. Poaching demons, dude. Okay. Okay, it says kill a deer. A doe. A deer. A female deer. Hey, Amy. Hey, Batch. Hi, Batch. I know if she's a demon or not, guys. That's my hot tip. See a girl in the woods? Caught to her. Hi, Batch. If she goes, hi, slot, then you know that she's normal. But if she doesn't, she might be a demon. The power of Christ compels you, girl. Give me a hug. Oh, damn. No hug for your boy? Should we against this, Katie? Come on, girl. She repels me, bro. I can't play games to escape reality. Yeah, priest, police. Thou shalt remain silent. Typically think all the girls in high school are demons as Kyosuke, huh? She doesn't want to talk to me at all. She's got no game. So he probably just leave if it would make me happy. So, what else do you guys want to shoot? We could go shoot a deer. We could go try and find the doll and shoot that. I thought that didn't do any good. And if you get let them get too close, they spawn crotch goblins, huh? Those priest cops will throw the book at you straight from Genesis to Leviticus, huh? Give me the gap, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the fucking gap. Deer was Brian's vote from the beginning. I gotta find the deer, though. An exercise bike looks like. Here we go. So, which one of these is the creepy doll? This is not her room. This is the twins' room. There's the doll right there. Hold that sh- oh. Well. Rest in peace. I think this is Amy's room. Maybe. It's got toys on the, on the wall, so it probably is. Shoot the mirrors at Brian? Good idea. So I lost my bullet, though, so I'm going to try the ending now where I just leave and don't shoot nobody, I suppose. This place in Connecticut, Katie. Some, they named the town. Can I go back up? I can. I wish there was a run button. That'd be sick. Can I throw myself out the window? Can I shoot out the window? The gun responds because it makes no sense. Oh, okay. Let's fucking go then. Let's try the mirror then. Shoot KD, break the script, rewrite reality, huh? Dude, I would never shoot KD in any game. Even if it was fucking un uh, Unreal Tournament. I'd be like, I can't do it. He's my friend. Give me that. With one bullet. Okay, this is now the that's true too. Kill her. She a little bitch. Hold that shit, me. Hey, it worked. That's cool. It's not Atari Apples, yes. It's a modern game. It's meant to resemble an Atari game. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Shoot the mirror again. Let me free. Oh, I can. That's dope. The machine. Faith hype, dude. A 
one with one bullet. Lots of guns. Let me do the mirror world, bro. Come on. Oh shit, secret boss. Ouch. Mortis. Mortis. As a single tear rolls down my cheeks, I thank Venka and eat a hot lead sandwich as I turn the gun on myself. For you, Venkabot. There's a good tip from Brian, Kaiju. I'm trying to think of things I could shoot to, you know, to trigger stuff. With one bullet. Hey, God, please don't make me do it again. Please. Let the mirror just be destroyed already, or at least be close to cracking. Oh, man. Oh, man. That Kaiju machine. The God himself. Oops. I mashed. <laughs> A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Alright. What if I try standing really far back from the mirror? A priest with one bullet. Let's try hitting that shit from fucking max range. One bullet. If you stand in front of the mirror with your eyes closed and say, Amy, three times, so what will you see when you open them, huh? Probably Amy. I'm gonna try apples. Let's try. But I can't. Last time I couldn't move. Oh, I could move before the bullet shot me. Before the bullet hit the wall. Oh, apple. You're so smart, apples. So smart. Before the bullet, the bullet hit the mirror, I could move. Oh. Where you at, you fuck? Getting a little bit faster. <laughs> Bye. Bye, batch. September 30th, 1986. This is the year before. Dear Dr. McGlashan, it's been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal. Spinal who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions, and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, Spinal, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her domestic or her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to regret a report that, since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow-up appointment with Dr. Spinal in the future. John Ward. So is that me? So yeah, so I tricked them to let me out of there, I guess. Let's go, guys. Easy game. I second thought Stephen Hawking did an okay job as a game's sole voice actor, huh? According to his handle, he is dead. Yeah, Kaiju's handle, yeah. I like Apple's idea, though, of trying to, uh... So I'm supposed to, I guess I could leave now, but the gun respawned. Let's destroy the mirror yet. I mean, I could, if I, I, think I could stack these and I could stack the endings. I think now I can't shoot the mirror anymore, huh? We gotta try Apple's idea, though, of smashing the mirror and then getting the fuck out of Dodge. Okay, so I beat the secret boss. Now... So, can I go through this window again? The mirror? No, I can't. Yeah, there's no mirror there anymore. Hmm. Oh, my stream's not recording. That's unfortunate. I must have forgot to delete some recordings last time. So, a gun with one bullet. I could go kill Amy again. Maybe the final boss. Like I guess I have no clue. I guess I'm going to go shoot Amy again. Come to think of it. Maybe I can get away with it now? Still say kill her on the ground, right? K 
Katie's dream come true. Try to talk to her. Good idea. So smart. Katie, blame Brian, all right? He knows the, the, the tech. I was going to kill her again, but Brian's probably got the right answer. You may be right, Jim. Exactly. He's like, oh, Audrey Apples, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Amy. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Still no good. Talk to me. Ooh. No good. She's like, fuck you, man. You're a creeper. So we can go kill a deer. Go get in the car. Just leave. Let's kill Amy again. I know the truth. I feel like going to be the murder ending, though, again. Just leave then and see what ending you get now, huh? Like, what do you think, Brian? So I'm not smashing hard enough, huh? That's my ex told me back in the day. We used to play Smash Bros. all the time together. She's not into it. Yeah, she's just like, whatever, bro. What are you doing? With one bullet. With one bullet. I should just fucking painting, dude. Right in the fucking face. Oh, man. What else can I shoot? Guys, a washing machine? The refrigerator? I never used my key, did I? I have a key from the, from the shed. With one bullet. What else can I shoot? There's five endings, huh? The TV says Brian? Again, let me spray a bullet, man. Yo, TV. Hold that shit! Damn. I'm sure it is, Jimmy. Shoot the deer, probably, yeah. Oh, maybe you're right, uh, Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Key might have been to enter the house. A dog with one bullet. Again, one bullet. You know the deal, man. Go shoot this bitch again, guys. Hey, Amy. I have a crazy idea. Hold this shit. Oh, bye. This is not fine. What are you gonna do? Try and ban J bomb dicks? You don't have the fucking power, dicks. Only I can do that, and I refuse. Alright, so I got the murder ending again. Supposing that getting that. I guess the reason I did that was to see if getting that secret boss would, alter, would kind of augment the endings. Might not. Might just be. You know. I don't know. Who knows? Again, just one bullet, man. Go, man, go! Oh, man. Murder, I oh, yeah, gotcha. Mm hmm, gotcha. Its own ending, yeah, but I forget, I'm not sure what to do to trigger its own ending, you know what I mean? I'll just try to leave, I guess, without doing anything. But we know we know to leave. We know to shoot the deer. Those would be endings on their own. I'm gonna try leaving with a gun. Maybe a different ending if you leave with a gun. A dog with one bullet. Oh, let's try this. I want to do this first while I'm here. I want to try Apple's idea of dodging the dodging the uh, the hand, the grabby hand. Cause I can shoot. And I can move as the hand approaches me. I think. Or something. It seemed like it worked last time. Maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, the gun, it's my bullet. bullet, man. Give me the gun, dog. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Shoot, 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 shoot. Mm -hmm. 
I think you're right, Jimmy. But it almost looked like I could move last time. I got, it just seemed like I could. Kind of hard to explain. I thought I could move all the bullets to go into the air, but it seemed like last time. But so far, it seems like maybe not so much. I'm gonna try to stand all the way down here. Give myself as much time as possible. Go. Oh, I see. I can move. I can move like a pixel. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of weird shot. Uh, leave me alone, you big spooky demon. This is what I like. Best phase. I wasted it. RNG. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yep. What kind of Undertale last boss battle is this? Okay, John Wording. Okay. I'm going to grab the gun and leave. I'm taking the gun, though. With a game one bullet. bullet. It's pretty deep, Dick. It's pretty deep. So I couldn't dodge the hand. I thought the apples had the hot tech there. But I assumed too much. I should have known better than trust apples. A giant cigarette. With just one bullet. Could you use a well? Yeah, this place seems different now. Like, all things are in different places. Use that bullet to push yourself out of your misery, huh? Maybe you can somehow, Dix. Makes sense for an ending. Apples plays Elena, Venka. You should know better. <coughs> you should know. Alright, well, let's see if this is his own ending. Worship me! You won't worship! I said, worship me. So if I didn't have the shotgun... I could have maybe scared him off with the with the cross. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor of the evil that walketh in darkness. Who is Spider-Man? Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and Yo, he facts, will answer guys. me. Fucking he Christian will be with me now. in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Can I control my car? I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. What did you do exactly? Push her out the window, but not shoot her afterward? Could you have gone back check out checking her after the thing gets hit? Maybe. I wonder. I don't think so. I don't think I could move. Maybe I could. Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, uh, which some residents are calling Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated this gruesome scene because they, a motorist who discovered the remaining uh, the remains had told them that they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented uh, that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay. 
All right, so uh, first of all, I want to go see if the hey, secret uh, boss, the final boss, bullied. secret boss, triggered that ending. If it would happen, oh fuck, if it would happen either way. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, basically. My gun with you in a bullet. Oh, right, this game is free. It's gonna cost a nickel to play. Good night, Kaiju. Peace out, homeboy. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to my car and see if I get jumped again. My guess is I probably will. Maybe I'm wrong. If I don't, there'll be a different ending anyway, which will be good. I hope I don't get jumped. That'll give me some ideas for other endings. Oh, shit. Is that an ending? Well, I ran off the screen. I bet you I could have made it off the screen. All right, so let's try the cross. Um, no. Let's try to shoot it again and see if I get a different ending. I, I, I highly doubt it. That's probably the same ending. What time is it now? Almost 2 o'clock in the morning? That's pretty good. We got time to get to these other endings. So there's probably another ending for using the cross on it, is my guess. Maybe I can escape it. I want to get into the car and drive off, but I couldn't. I couldn't get into the car while it was chasing me. I could have probably left the screen, though. Maybe. I was, going kind of, I was kind of walking kind of slow. And Templar had the good idea of going to check on the girl after I, I, uh, I shoot the thing. Okay, let's go around the outside. I like trailer park girl. Bye, bitch. Okay. Now, see, I should have again. I should have gone further from my car before I shot it. Okay, can I move? No. Okay, I can't move afterward. It's a good idea, though, Templar. I will skip it. it. Is if you no skip. My fortress. My God so let's try this again now with uh, the cross run. instead of the uh, the gun. That would be like the bad ending, right? You just scare the chupacabra off and you drive away. Should I stay up all night till 8 comes, then go to my classes, then just sleep the rest of the day? I have a shit ton of portfolio shit to take care of, but I don't think I will have the opportunity again to work on it for that long. I don't know, Kip. It's kind of hard to get looking for you. If I were you, I'd try to sleep. I mean, if I were you, I'd probably stay up like a dumbass. I recommend trying to sleep. I can't explain what happened at that house. At that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Man, I hope I did the right thing in that house, man. That was pretty spooky. Yeah, for free game, it's alright. It's really bare bones. Like, extremely bare bones. They had an idea for an aesthetic. If not for the fact that, you know, the visual style had been spoiled for me, I'd probably be more interested in it, you know what I mean? Like, if I had discovered it on my own, but, oh, it's a pretty cool game with a Atari-esque art style, that'd be cool. But because I knew what it looked like already, this really was all this game really has going for it, I feel like. I kind of think this game's graphics and its music are kind of like it's, like it's what it really has to offer. Aside from that, it's, again, it's very, very bare bones. What hubris to think God will honor you, says Apples, huh? Set an alarm, says Dix. Say you'll take a 50-minute nap and work on it, then keep resetting the alarm until you've wasted half the night and then start working on it, huh? That's what I would do, Dix. Just the sequels are better. So there's one sequel out right now, right? There's a sequel already out. But I think number three is still in the works, maybe. We try shooting the deer. So we got two endings out of five, right? There's gonna be one right now. So we actually, don't, there's one we don't know how to get. The deer has to be an ending. If I can find that motherfucker. Oh, he didn't give a fuck about my cross. Mortis. 
Mortis. Okay, so... Let's go shoot a deer, I suppose. So there's two enemies we don't know how to get, then. One has to be with the girl, you would think, right? How do I get the girl? I just want to get the girl, dude. Is that too much to ask? Let's go find this deer, dude. Where you at, deer? Here it is. What's up, you piece of shit? Hold that shit. Sanctify the body. Rest in peace, little bitch. Apples, I have a fucking shotgun. I can kill whatever the hell I want. Who you want me to kill? Can I shoot the well? Yeah, almost certainly, Brian. Yeah, we have to kill him and then do something. Not sure what it is yet, though. It's simple, says Katie. <laughs> we kill the Batman. So if I had to guess, I would say that uh, I'm not gonna need the shotgun. I'm gonna be able to go to my car now, and I'm not gonna get jumped. Probably, oh, I can't go inside anymore. Well, that's weird. That's really weird. That didn't happen before, did it? When I killed the girl, maybe it did. I need to work on either my game that I'm trying to show off, or my digital art that my crazy girlfriend is willing to help me out with this time, huh? Because she's a night owl. That makes it crazy. Damn. I guess we're all crazy then. College portfolio, huh? What's it got to be done by tomorrow? Hey, Amy. Oh, she's gone. Fine. Well, bye, bitch. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here, guys. Not done by tomorrow, but I'd like to have it done be an early bird, huh? And apply with it on deck. Well, good idea, Darian. Except that I don't think she's stuck for your sleepover in that case. I like Emily must play way more dicks because that game was at least gameplay focused. Was the gameplay that good in that game? No. But it was something. This game was way more atmospheric than Emily wants to play, but it doesn't have a gameplay at all. So I gotta say, I prefer Emily over this by a little bit. Not by much. Okay, well, I shot the deer and Amy was gone. Now we're here. I will send a flower. What? It is buyer if you can buy for this. My cock in my will trust. That was killed. We already killed one thing, yeah. Remember, I shot it like ten times. Terror. Rest in peace. Is that the cuckoo's ending from. That's the sound! That's the sound, guys. Remember that? I told you guys that story, right? I heard that sound in real life. There's an un excuse me, unidentified body discovered near a wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Road, a uh, Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Weird. Dear God, that was brutal. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. A dog with one bullet. Again, with one bullet. Well, here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go, first of all, I'm gonna see if I can, uh... Go find that deer again. But I'm not gonna shoot him this time. Let's see if I can give him a stern talking to. Hey, bitch. Okay, well, what else can your boy shoot? A puddle? So this is gonna go back to where Emily or Amy is? Hmm. 
don't know. Actually, there's, there's pads through the woods. I never, never noticed that before. I think maybe now it's not randomized anymore. Is that what the thing is? Can I find my way back to the shed? Can I shoot the well? I'm sure I'd want to shoot the well. Shoot down the well. No. When I do, the music stops. If I go get another gun, does the music continue again? So I want to find the shed. Maybe there's something inside there that I can kill. I love killing stuff. So we have, what, three of the five endings now, huh? Hmm. So I can go, as long as I don't kill the deer or Amy, I can go back inside. You got a gun, man. Skyrim. Oh, can I go downstairs and kill myself on the, on the altar? What if I go there and pull the trigger? Maybe it'll kill me if I go into that perfect spot. How come that... Was that like a clock on the... How come that's like a gold thing there? It seems pretty rare that things are gold in this game. But I can't interact with it in any way. Maybe if I go in the right spot, I can commit seppuku. Shout out to my friend Katie Alpha stream. I just realized I don't think I've ever gone and talked to that fucking toy horse. What's all the fucking sheets? This room is totally pointless. Why don't I shoot the fucking sewing machine? Mm, okay, so if I go here and pull the trigger, maybe I'll kill myself, huh? Oh, I can't go to the right anyway, it looks like, because the table's in the way. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's like a sacrifice here, it looks like, huh? Hey, look, there's blood going that way. Isn't that weird? Seems weird. No good. Yeah, look, there's blood going over the table. See that? And if I go over here, you can see that there's blood near the rocking horse. Oh, look, there's a there's a a crib down here with a doll. Is that the death doll? You know, there's blood over here too, and there's like a, like a filing cabinet. I can't get over there anyway. Seems pretty suspicious. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to shoot this doll. Right? I established I want to kill a doll. The the note says something about a, a doll that may have caused Amy to get possessed. Maybe in part two, dude. Kill her. With one bullet. It's that gun again. Crazy, this gun keeps respawning, man. I think I'm tripping. All right, let's go shoot this doll. What else can I shoot again? I have to find the. I have to find the. Uh, the shed. Yeah, what's up, little bitch? Hold that shit. There's washing machines, there's sewing machines I could also shoot. I should have to keep going back up to get my one bullet back. Two endings left. One's got to be with Amy, right? How do I talk to Amy? She wants to push me away all the time. I ain't got no game. With one game. Bullet. One, I'm not going to bother with the fucking washing machine and the sewing machine. If, there, if it's a... Ending spoiled for me, guys. So there's an ending in the washing machine of the sewing, but I don't really think it's worth trying that. Let's just go try and find this stupid uh, shed. Where are you at, shed? Yeah, you're right, Dick. Apple's always going on about killing the whites, dude. Always kill the whites this, kill the whites that. There's that tree. I can shoot the tree. The, um... The, um... Tree the chunk out of it. So if I go north, this is the, the house, right? So basically I want to go... Down. Go left, then go up. Then we get back on, like, a randomized path, I think. Here's the tree. I don't think I want to shoot the tree, though, right? I mean, I could knock it over if I shot it. Probably not. It's not worth the fucking bullet, man. 
So if I keep going left, am I gonna find the deer over here again? I'm kinda confused how this place kinda randomizes. Ugh, seems use the sprint button, bro. So we fought the secret boss. That was cool. But uh, it seems like I once I kill it, I don't really know what else to do. Okay, so the deer guy never did spawn in this case. So I'm already at the road already, huh? Seems weird. This is as far down as we can get. So we never did find the shed. There's gotta be a shed in there somewhere. So I'm about to reach my car in a minute. I don't wanna get too close to it or I'm gonna trigger the ending. With the mortis. That fucking spider dude. The chupacabras. There it is, okay. If I shot my own car. Damn. Come on. Can you just leave now and do nothing? I can, Apples. Yeah, if I do that, then I get jumped by the Chupacabras and I have to shoot it. Or die. Talk to Amy, then kill the secret boss, and talk to Amy again. Um, I could try that, I suppose. Where's the fucking shed, bro? Where's the shed at? Where's the shed at at? Where's the shed at? Okay. Amy, why gotta act up, girl? Let's talk this out. Hey! He's like, bye, bitch. Thought I'm somewhere new. Okay, this is progress. Go right from the deer god, you get to the pool. Gotta find this shed, bro. It's gotta be out here somewhere. In the woods. Shout out to. Oh, here we go. Chaos reigns or whatever. Now we're talking. Something's gotta be here, right? What would be here? How do I trigger it? Maybe I have to kill the secret final boss and come here, huh? That's what I gotta do, right? Oh. Oh. Yeah, find, take a gun and find the shed. Yeah, it's kinda, that was my thinking. But, uh, no can doosville. Have to shoot it. I need to go kill the final boss and then go to that spot where chaos reigns. Crip walking. Here's the destroyed shed. Where's the actual shed? All those dirty words that make us seem so dumb. Here's the well. Drinking far too much. And neither of us means what we say. Then you and I collapsed in love. Oh my god. It's good, bro. How you been holding up? Okay. Where would north south go from the right of the screen where the chaos thing was, huh? So that's two endings, right? The chaos one and this one. That's the last one we need, right? We're in there. Let's go fight the final boss and go find the chaos spot again. We're getting somewhere, Brian. We're getting somewhere. For sure we are. 
And it looks like we might have made it. Yes, it looks like we made it to the end. So let's go kill the guy at the shed. That's an easy ending. Then we can fuck around and try to find out what to do with the final boss. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Yo, fucker! Break yourself, fool! I don't fucking play that shit! Look at you now! Let's go to the car. So I'm gonna get back inside the house. I think I want another gun just gets to get jumped by that fuck. All right, so we killed the guy, the laughing man. I fucking like that guy, Kiyosuke. I don't fucking fuck with that shit. Hold up. <laughs> fucking weird. Fucking weird ass dude. Fuck a weirdy, bro. Fuck weirdy. Can I go inside and get my gun back? Nope. Alright. Let's go to the whip. He was fucking taunting, Brian. He was. Hitting the fucking heavy buttons together. That'll teach him to be amused in the force. I'm saying, J-Bomb. I don't like these weirdies out here, bro. This guy's having a good ass time. The place haunted as fuck. at the well, man. Wasn't there some kind of letter about the well at some point? No, it just said, it said the house was near the well, is all it said. Fucking Dark Souls MC ass laughing at. That's insane, J-Bound. He's like, <laughs> Get back in the whip. I will send a flower. God's a pretty nice guy. My, fortress, my god, my he's an awesome god he reigns. I shall not be afraid. Dang, I killed by the spider thing, huh? Father and son. Okay. So the spider guy was hanging out in my car that time. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made a great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increased ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let, the, let them see him. The darkness inside him affects, uh, afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking that what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. So it must be, he must be the spider kid. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. It's kind of unusual that I can, uh... Maybe Apple Day, somebody's kid. Uh, it strikes me that this is the only situation where I can use the gun to trigger something, and that's when I can get the gun back again, right? So I'm thinking I have to get the gun after I beat the final boss and go to that chaos spot and maybe kill something else that spawns there. Got it again. It's got a bullet. Let's do it. Again. I would never have thought to do the mere thing if not for Brian recommending it. The deer I would have done. The guy, you know, Emily or Amy I would have done. The shed guy I would have done. I would have done everything except for the mirror thing. Bro, where are you going? Go. Get cooked, dumbass boy. Oh shit, what the fuck? Bitch ass boy. Come on, turn around. 
Mmm, that's a good one. Oh, this is so good. Oh my god. Oh, this is so good. RNG's on my side right now, bro. Oh my god. That was the run right there. Yeah, the ghost thing, yeah. Alright, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Spinal cell. Mm -hmm. I love the sound effect it makes like I'm playing fucking Mario 3. Mm -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so I'm spawned in here again. I can go get my gun again. Let's go find the chaos spot. Chaos reigns. So there's got to be something there, right? There has to be. With one bullet. That spot had that special dialogue, man. That's what I'm saying, Jayvon. Dr. Spinal. So where was that place again? Around here somewhere, right? Fulgore's pretty sweet too, huh? When was the last Colorist game released? Um, well, just a couple years ago, right? Xbox One. Right of the Deer. Okay, that's kind of what I thought, Apples. You remember pretty good, Apples. Aha. Fight me, coward. Bullshit. I'd have fucking let fly anyway. Oh, I got his ass. Get fucked, you invisible piece of shit. Let's explain what I had to kill the boss for, the secret boss. Bye! 2013, Jim. I'm honest. It actually seems like it wasn't that long ago, but there you go. Yeah, pretty popular, Jim. I'm playing on Windows right now if you want to. Invisible ass boy. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of fun, Jim. I mean, I kind of like the little, little cross mechanic. I ain't saying shit this time. So this is the, these are the. Oh fuck. Cultists. Hey guys. Why can't we be friends? So I have all the endings now, right? But what was the point of the secret final boss? Just get that last note. Is my guess. The offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to not to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's nothing, anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together uh, at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love to, for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, my God. They're sacrificing babies, man, right? They, they mentioned in that note you have to sacrifice babies to do some shit. Well, he was scared, but he was scared. With one bullet. They're cultists. He would run over a cultist machine? I beat Faith, Jim. I mean, I did apparently. I'm going to see if I can kill him without just curiosity if I need to actually beat the final boss. I doubt it. I can probably just... Uh... Probably just... Uh kill it in any way, invisibly, right? Probably don't need to actually kill the secret final boss to, to trigger it. Just curious. Well, guys, that was Faith. Again, it got a lot of hype. If not for that, I'd probably be more interested in it. Uh, I kind of couldn't live up to the hype at that point. Once people kind of hype it up so much that it becomes like something that's like really, really supposed to be amazing. It's free, man. It's a free game. For, for being free, it's pretty fun. I mean, I guess if you're really hard up for some horror... Didn't really do anything that spectacular, again, except for the graphics and stuff, which are kind of, you know, unique. The presentation is there. Where's the fucking cow? Where's the fucking deer guy? That is over in this spot. Yeah, I think this game really is kind of cool in terms of its presentation. But beyond that, it's just sort of kind of a meh horror game. There's no chill as arts as Brian, yeah. I mean, what do you got? You got some ghost girl, possessed girl, possessed kids. All the classics. Got a shotgun bullet. That's kind of cool. I, mean, I like the mechanic with the fucking cross. Here we go. 
hold that shit. Yeah, so it doesn't. I don't actually have to. Uh, I don't actually have to uh, get the final boss. So it must be only for the for the dialogue, is my guess. If you beat the final boss, you get that note, which is uh, kind of explains more stuff. I mean, my guess is that it explains how we got out of the hospital, right? That's really all it explains. I think he lied to Doctor Spinal to get himself out of there. Okay, I'm gonna end the stream here and come back with more uh, Third Strike tomorrow, Bruise Day Tuesday. See you guys then. That was Faith. You know, again, it's free. Can't say too much about it. It's free. I'd love to hate more, but I can't. Don't cost you a nickel to play it. You know, it's kind of spoopy a little bit. That makes the secret boss even more interesting that it has no impact on any of the endings, huh? Hmm. Pleasure having you, dicks. Yeah, good night, guys. I'll see you guys around. I'm going to call it a night here and do some YouTube type work. Yeah, go get the Ghost of Overload Steve, of course. The Offering. Good night, J-Bomb. Walk with the Lord, guys. Walk with the Lord. We're a Christian stream now. Good night, Brian. Good night, guys. Good night, Apples. All you lurkers, good night. Fucking never trust a guy named Gary, guys. Fuck a Gary. How'd fucking get this guy? Good night, Love these guys. Man. Bro, I'm at level 8,000. I was an adventurer Good back night, in Katie. my day. I'm just weak. I'm fucking old, hero. Play Bible games at NES Wednesday instead oh, of Uncharted, huh? fixed, I guess. Oh, guys, I gotta figure out something to fill that time slot. Oh, I forgot about that. Hmm, well, we had our Laura Croft goal. We could play Laura Croft first and then play Lost Legacy. I really want to play the Uncharted games back to back to back to back, though. I just literally ignore the goal and play Lost, Lost Legacy anyway. I already cut it down by 10 subs over the weekend. Hey, what's up, Connor? Welcome aboard, man. Just ending the stream. Could we have a good rest? Hope you had a good rest. Thanks so much, guys, for hanging out. As always, thank you to the patrons at patreon.com slash venkabot. Those guys over there are why I can afford to stream five nights a week. How your stream's been, Connor? What's a cunt, Dracula? <laughs> Good night, Machine Gun. So we're coming by and hanging out, dude. Glad you come here and give Kaiju a big kiss on the cheek. He deserves it. Thank you to our patrons on patreon.com slash fan People like John Hernandez, Katie Alpha, Mark, Remy, Cynthia, and Salty Face. Thank you to Ash, Lethal Mazera, Audrey Apples, Dick Sucker, Farhan Zayed, Great Gamer UK, Hubie, Jordy Hargreaves, Max, Michael Hinkle, Munich P, and Wade Local. Thank you to Brandon Williams, Foulmill, Chulak, GK Lai, Good Vibe City, Juno Nam, Coolahan, Kyle Glass, Leon Madison, Mum Blues, uh, Rage Against the Arcade Machine, Ricardo Garcia, Soup Test, Shin, and Toxic Vamp. Thank you to Benjamin J. Harkins, Karina D. Scott, Danka Dapper Dons, Herb Durkin, Andre Cruz, Kaiju, and Kenneth. Thank you guys so much for your support. That's again patreon.com slash Venkabot. Uh, you can help out for three bucks there. It actually helps the channel out more than Twitch's $5 sub tier, guys. Don't subscribe on Twitch. That's crazy. That's craziness. Twitch takes half of that, man. The $5 tier of $250 that actually reaches the channel here, and Twitch takes $50 out of that. For their servers and stuff, I suppose. Um, you get ad free viewing for subscribing as well as an emote or two here on uh, the Venkbot channel. But uh, definitely consider Patreon. It's a pretty cool uh, platform. Three bucks there goes further than five bucks on Twitch. Save some money, guys. I kind of have this feeling that people would subscribe for longer if it was uh, easier for them to budget it in, right? I think sometimes people unsubscribe because it costs them too much money over time. So for me, it's a huge boon to have, you know, patrons that are uh, paying as little as possible. <laughs> That's actually uh, very clutch. Thank you to Zanzu for being a black knight on Twitch in any case. Of course, thank you Zanzu so much for your support of the years. Thank you to Big Nasty, Eve off the chill, and Cruz. Thank you to the shady winners of the Amazon Prime free sub tier. If you're an Amazon Prime customer, you get a free sub every month here on Twitch. Don't forget that, guys. Spend it somewhere if not here. Also, it's the gift sub tier and the $5 sub tier here on Twitch. Thank you to Stuffy Muffin, Audrey Apples, Balls D, Beastie Boy Jr., Blue Abs, Bones of Brother, Nero, Caveats, Change Me, What the Fuck, Chumpet, Chulock, Circus Cancel, CPU3S, Creaky Axe, Dandy Dante Gameplay, Dapper Dons, Dig Zucker, Docked, Fight J Fight, First Opus, excuse me, First Opus, FPA, Brian X, FPA, Eddie, Garbage Jungle Style, Gorilla Pimp, Goss, Herb Durkin, It's Yo Q, J Bomb, 1901, J, uh, J Mode of MU, Kaiju is Dead, KD Alpha, KG the Legend, Matt Choke, Moist Ovakin, Mothman FGC, Mutant Experience, Neon Riot 4, Niggas Jones, Nuts Templar, Oya Q, 812, Peter Steves, Praetor 51, Raging Mage Sage, Sin Theory, SSB Ultra, Stone Cold Ryan Meyer, Task Force Faust, Revenge, V Dude, yeah, okay, and you're going 3F. Thank you guys.
Maybe you should just shill really hard for subs tomorrow and get four more during Brews Day. Honestly, Brian, that might actually work. It would be unusual. Basically, what happens a lot of time is that our third strike subs will kind of fall off uh, over the course of the week, and they'll resub during 3S. So maybe we'll have four tomorrow. It's possible. It's possible. It wouldn't be unusual to get four subs on Brews Day Tuesday. Night. Produce a song. That might have fallen off over the weekend. Let's go see from my streaming here, especially KD Alpha. Is KD secretly online? No. But Balls Deep's playing Ninja Gaiden? Holy shit. So check out Balls Deep, guys. You guys like Ninja Gaiden or you guys fucking idiots? You fucking goofballs. Are you assholes? Balls Deep is a pretty cool streamer. She plays games modern and retro. Very funny commentary. Let's go say hi. These guys want to do that. These guys are calling it a night here to have a good sleep. These guys are staying up late. Check out Balls Deep. She's playing some Ninja Gaiden. Like God like that. Yeah. You pick, you yeah. plan. Gotcha, Katie. Looking forward to that then. Oh, he combo with his own fireball. Oh. 